Hi guys! Salamat sa inyong patuloy na pagsubaybay dito sa ating lecture series about surveying. At sa iba ng mga na maaaring itong unang pagkakataon na makasama ko sa discussion na ito, sana ay patuloy nyo akong subaybayan sa mga future uploads ko by subscribing to this channel. O kaya naman ay para sa mga kaibigan natin na maaaring mga ilangan din na patuloy itong discussion, by sharing this channel. Today we shall continue our discussion by solving additional sample problem on simple curvature. And the problem goes like this. The angle of intersection of a circular curve is 45 degrees 30 minutes and its radius is 198.17 meters. PC is at station 0 plus 700 and from here we are required to compute for the right angle offset from station 0 plus 736.58 on the curve to the tangent through PC. Siguro mas mabuti kung yung mga given sa problem ay ma-identify natin sa illustration at ma-discuss natin ano ba yung hinahanap dito sa problem. Okay, ganito yung illustration guys. Ano? Yung sinasabi nating okay, station PC which is at station 0 plus 700 ay ito yung tinutukis sa curvature. Ano? So, the intersection angle is represented here in by this uh, okay, magnitude at 45 degrees 30 minutes. The radius of the curvature is given also at 198.17 and we are required here to solve for the offset right angle offset from station 7 0 plus 736.5 from 0.58 on the curve to the tangent through PC mas mabuti rin siguro kung yung definition ng offset from tangent ay ma-define natin ano ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng offset from tangent Ang ibig sabihin ng offset from tangent ay ganito. Ito ay tumutukoy sa perpendicular distance from the tangent of any point on the curve. Mula daw doon sa okay, curvature, ang perpendicular distance niya mula sa tangent, yun yung tinatawag nating offset from tangent. Kaya kung titinan natin itong ating okay, curvature, kung meron tayo itong point A, ang distance ito mula sa tangent, ito no? na ipinakikita sa pamagitan ng itong illustration nito, itong uh, kulay blue na ito. Yun yung tinatawag natin offset from tangent and sometimes we are giving, uh, we are labeling it as Y sub A. Kung meron ba tayong point somewhere here, halimbawa sabihin natin this point, this point B. Then this, this, the distance of that point B from the tangent shall be called as offset from tangent at point B. And we are labeling it as Y sub B. Kanyang natin siya pinakilala. Kaya kung yung meron tayong y sub t, oh, I'm sorry, pt, yung kanyang distance from tangent shall be called as ypt. At ang ating hinahanap is that distance okay, of the point at station 736.58. Sabihin natin yung 736.58 is point A. And that, therefore, we are looking for the offset of okay, the curve of the point A from the tangent. So basically, the problem is uh, it has so many solutions. Ano? And in this particular discussion, we shall be presenting at least two solutions for us to okay, analyze okay, which approach shall be easier to use. So let us show here our okay, first solution. Okay, and first solution at least to compute for the angle subtended by the arc length mula dun sa PC hanggang sa point A. If we are to use, and we are to use here, the arc basis. Sabi natin, we will be computing first for the angle subtended mula okay, ng, curva, ng curvature mula sa PC hanggang sa A. Ang sabihin niyan, ito yung ating hinahanap. Itong angle subtended by that. Itong angle na ito. Okay, nakikita natin dito. Okay, so we are looking for this angle. Okay, so we are looking for that angle. How are we going to solve for that angle? So we can simply use that. We can solve that by simply using the Okay, knowledge that we have learned in triangle. The arc length will subtend an angle equal to theta. Okay, and whose magnitude? 
of the arc length should be equal to the product of the radius and theta where theta is expressed in radian. So if you are to solve for the theta, therefore theta is the ratio of the arc length to that of the radius of the curvature. However, in this formula, we shall be getting the value of the arc length, I'm sorry, the value of the theta in radian. And so if we wanted okay, to compute for the magnitude of the theta e degree, we multiply it by 180 divided by pi. And so the value of angle theta, the angle subtended by this arc length piecing to A, shall be equal to 10.58. Pagkatapos, what shall we do? Okay, kung titinan natin, itong PC to point A now can be connected with okay, a core distance. Okay, so if we will be solving for the core distance A, mula sa solve na solve nating K theta, then we can solve for its core distance. Okay using the formula of the chord or subchord, And that formula can be taken to be, okay, PC to point shall be equal to, okay, 2R times sine of theta over 2. This can be taken by a okay, passing, okay, a bisecting, you know, the chord and the angle by this line so that you will be forming here a right triangle. This distance from PC to that point is one half of the core distance from PC to point A. And the ratio of that to the radius shall be equal to the sine of the k okay, one half of the k okay, subtended angle. And therefore, the, the distance from PC to point A shall be equal to 2R sine of theta over 2. So that if okay, all the values shall be computed, we can compute for the core distance from PC to point A to be equal to 36.52. Okay. Now, after solving for that, okay, we can now solve for the offset distance at point A. And this can be taken by looking at this triangle, PC, A, and this point. So, you will be forming here a right triangle. Where Y sub A is the opposite side of this small angle. And the value of this small angle is equal to one half of the subtended angle theta. With this theta, with this volume, sorry, Okay, PC to A already computed, then we can form the function of right triangle being equal to okay, Y sub A equal to PC to point A multiplied by the angle okay, theta sine of theta over 2. So that if the value shall be substituted, Y sub A shall be equal to 36.52 times sine of 10.58 divided by 2 and that gives us a value of 3.38. So that's how we solve it using the okay, basic formula of the elements of curvature. But we can also solve it this using the other approach. Ano? So let me show here the second solution. And this will be taken after we have computed for the angle theta. Okay, that the PC to point A is subtended. Okay, let us imagine that we already have taken this theta. And theta is already taken or computed at 10.58. Now, in order to solve for this value of y sub a, let us imagine that at point A, we draw a line parallel to the tangent distance until it cross this okay, radius of the curvature, and this is what we shall have. This distance from the distance from the tangent to this point is also the same as y sub a, and we hold that as y sub a. While the distance from this point up to the center of the circle will be equal to the, the difference between the radius of the curvature and that offset from tangent y sub a. And you will now see here the triangle OCA, this O, C, and A. That triangle is a right triangle having the elements such as the distance OC from this point is the difference between the radius and y sub a. While the distance AO is the hypotenuse and that is also equal to the radius of the curvature. Therefore, the radius, so the ratio of the, the adjacent side to the hypotenuse of this angle theta shall be equal to cosine of that theta. And so, okay, using that ratio, okay, cosine of theta being equal to OC divided by AC, where theta is equal to 10.58. And OC is equal to the difference between 198.17 minus Y sub A 
over 198.177. Therefore, we shall have here an equation involving y sub a, and y sub a can be computed to be a 3.37 meters or so. That's how we solve for the value of the offset from tangent. And uh, I hope that with the simple presentation that I have given you, okay, you are able to okay, understand more okay, the different elements of simple temperature. Kaya naman minsan pa guys, ay muli ko kayong inimbitahan na subscribe itong ating channel at kung meron nga tayo mga kaibigan na sa tingin mo ay kailangan ng itong discussion, okay, share na rin natin ito para sila man ay na-inform din of our future uploads. Once again, thank you very much for watching.